Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, in this video, I'm going to answer a couple of questions that were asked me by youngsters in my WhatsApp group. As you know, I have multiple WhatsApp groups. So I had a couple of these youngsters ask me these questions over the past two or three weeks. I compile questions separate after answering. And if I feel it can add value, I share them. It's related to education, degree, career, and a few FAQs. So watch the video and... Uh, if you do have any questions, comment down below. And uh, if you have something to add, please feel free. Uh, about myself, uh, if you're new to the channel, personal branding strategist, I help people get well-paying jobs in Dubai, UAE. Uh, Saudi Qatar, Bahrain, Oman is secondary. And people also book my services for coaching and consulting for personal or professional problems and issues. Okay, details are put down below. So this uh, young man, he asked me, he is part of my groups, he asked me, sir, can I ask you a question? I said, yeah, go ahead. And uh, he typed out, he said, sir, I have these options in terms of a degree. And uh, he said, I'd like to share them with you. I said, fine. And uh, I thought he would give me like maybe one or two or three. He literally, I mean, came out with 17 different options, 17 or 18. Bachelor of this, Bachelor of that, Bachelor of this. So I said, uh, what do you want to do from this? So he said, no, sir, I'm totally confused. I don't know what to do. I have all these courses that I can do. And uh, I have so many colleges in my area that I can do it from. His father is slightly, slightly rich and slightly influ influential, so he can help him get in any of these colleges in the nearby area. So he asked me, so I value your opinion. What do you think I should do? So the first thing I asked him is, what do you want to do? He said, so I, I don't know. I'm not aware. And instead he asked me the question, so what do you think I should do in order to have a secure future, in order to have a better future, in order to, um, you know, have the degree that is future proof? so that I can earn more. You know, the typical, if I do this degree, which degree will help me earn more money? Which degree will give me security? Which degree will uh, give me a foolproof career? And I told him, the first thing I told him is, see, listen, there's no degree in the world that can guarantee you a job. That's number one. Number two is, there's no degree in the world which will be recognized uh, after a few months or years. Uh, you, you know, like, for example, I'm... I'm 46. Do you seriously think anyone asks for my degree or qualification when they talk to me? Unless, of course, you are applying or you're working in a multinational company where having a master's degree or uh, maybe even a degree from a prestigious university guarantees you a ticket to apply. And uh, we live in a day and age where um, almost 99%, uh, okay, not 99%, let's say, Let's go with the Pareto principle, 80-20. Um, most of the stuff that you learn in your degree, you're not going to apply it unless, of course, you're a medical doctor or you're an engineer where you need to know the fundamental basics or you're a college professor where, you know, you have a PhD where what you study is maybe you can teach other people. But otherwise, I mean, think about it. How many of you use... Uh, business management theories in your day-to-day -day work. You don't use. How many of you use, like, what do you study in school? Chemistry, biology, physics, uh, moral science, maths, social studies, history, geography. Where do you use it? It's just knowledge. And today you can just Wikipedia, you can check Wikipedia, or you can just do a quick search. You get all the answers. So 
it, it doesn't make any sense. So I told this guy, listen, if you don't have an interest, you don't have a passion, you don't have anything which you want to set your eyes on, then it doesn't matter what you do. Seriously, if you don't have an interest, it doesn't matter what you do. What I would suggest is do the one which is the easiest for you. Don't make your life harder than what it is. Do something that is easy, that is quick, that is fast, and which you can complete and move on to the next phase. However, if in case you are planning to, let's say, migrate to Canada or Europe or Australia or any other foreign country, find out which degree, if you were to complete, can piggyback and help you get a master's or admission into the college of your choosing, your preference or the country. Because let's say, for example, you complete a degree and it's not recognized in Australia or Canada, then you have to redo everything again. And this has happened to a couple of people. They have done a degree there or completed through a college and that college was not recognized. This happened in Dubai and it was a massive scandal that uh, college or that institute has closed down. Uh, people did, I think, four years of medical, dental, whatever. And they said they made a lot of claims that they were associated with this college in India, whatever. After four years, uh, the students went back to India to do their, you know, higher masters or whatever. And they were shocked to find out that this college had no affiliation with them. It was not recognized and they had to redo. Just imagine you had to redo eight years. That means four years, one year break again. So total nine years. So yeah, this is what I told him. And uh, as far as... Uh, secure proof, future proof, uh, job guarantees. I told him this is all bull, man. It's not going to work. In fact, I even added one extra bit. I said, do you know that there are so many people who have degrees in one particular discipline, but they're doing totally something else? Uh, many of them, many of them. I, I know there are doctors who choose not to be doctors. They are businessmen. I know people who have done uh, commerce. And their work is nothing related to commerce. In fact, I even know some people who are in arts or commerce who have taken up uh, jobs in engineering companies as salespeople. So look at the difference. Uh, there are a lot of people who migrated to Canada uh, and uh, they've taken up a trade, plumbing, being an uh, electrician, being a uh, you know, carpenter. And their studies had nothing got to do with it. So... The point I'm trying to tell you is nobody knows the future. Nobody knows what is going to happen next. You don't know. I don't know. And it's no point asking anyone because they'll only speculate. Okay. So if you have a multitude of choices, just ask yourself, after you finish this degree, what is next? What's your next step? Which country or what masters you're planning to do or what you're planning to do in terms of work? If... Every answer is, I don't know. I don't know which country. I don't know if I'm going to do masters. I don't know what work I'm... Then just do a degree for the namesake. Get a degree and finish it off. Don't postpone it. There are many people who say, put it on hold and start working. No, don't do that. Because uh, there is a certain age where you enjoy studying. And, you, you know, it's like a flow. You go 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th diploma, degree. So you have the memory muscles. But once you break that chain, to start learning, memorizing becomes a Herculean effort. Ask anybody who is in their 40s if they have the patience to sit and read, study and appear for exam. It's a nightmare. It's a total nightmare. So finish it off as quickly as possible and then worry about what is next. One last thing I just want to tell you. Uh... There is no magic pill. There's no magic career. There's no guarantees for anything. You can, you know, like some of you get so influenced by, I'll start an e-commerce business. I'll start a, a online business. I'll start coaching, consulting. I'll start uh, networking online. I'll, listen, it's all a phase. Most probably you will join the corporate world. 99% you'll join the corporate world because you need experience. 
you will work 9 to 5 and there's nothing wrong with that gain experience learn and once you cross a certain age or stage in your life 35 40 by the time you have at least 20 years experience of working then you know where you're headed to next i hope this video helped you guys make the right choice because i know how confusing it is when you're young and especially when everyone has a piece of advice and yes please do sit down with your parents and discuss because these are very important decisions to make don't have the fear don't be i'm afraid of my dad i'm afraid of my mom no you have to discuss because it's their hard earned money and tell your parents see listen please uh, you you're putting your hard earned money i i i want to respect that you know I, i want to make sure it is utilized properly so that is why i'm having this discussion with you and don't be afraid to tell them that i don't have interest in this line of work or this whatever degree and if they still force you let's assume they still force you go ahead and do it once you start failing in couple of subjects and all that they they realize oh sheesh why did i even put him there because there are some people whose skulls are so thick no matter what you tell them they are not going to listen so anyway don't fail purposely huh? and don't say oh because roy misido told me that all right so put your questions and thoughts down below good bad ugly would like to know what you have to say this me signing off take care